Welcome back to Micah for Shut Up. This is episode number 17. I'm Chris, here with my wife Angie. Hi. My brother-in-law, Bodie. Big dog, big dog. And my sister, Reagan. Hello. This is the uh, first weekend in uh, December, and uh, we did not talk about Thanksgiving because uh, Thanksgiving is not Halloween. <laughs> so, Facts. <laughs> so we just kind of skipped right over that holiday. Yeah, but, it's uh, just the E holiday. Yeah, right. Which is pretty much every day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Right. Who doesn't eat every day? Thanksgiving sucks. <laughs> well, we know. But you don't like yeah, any holiday. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. You don't like Christmas either, though. Well, that's true, too. Is there a holiday that you enjoy? No. So, therefore, your opinion on any holiday is null and void, yes? No, I think my opinion still counts. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Let me ask you this question. Here's a hypothetical for you, Chris. <laughs> All right. If... Everything is urgent. Is there actually anything that's urgent? Right. Ooh, that's deep. That's right? Deep. Yep. Wow, you So if deep. every holiday is garbage, yep. is there any actual holiday that's not garbage? No. <laughs> you understand the point that I'm making? If everything is hot, is there does cold even exist? <laughs> or does hot even exist? See, one can't exist without the other. You can't have hot without cold. You can't have happy without sad. You can't have joy without having pain. Right. This is the duality of man. You can't have kids without having regret. <laughs> <laughs> Which we have none of. <laughs> Apparently you can have kids without having sex, though, if you ask Bodie. <laughs> How many times were you pregnant? <laughs> Five. Five times. <laughs> she always tells people the number. You have six kids. A six doesn't count. That's right. It does not count. It does not you count. You can't call that you number what? because you were only pregnant five times. Yeah. Uh, and one time might not have even been me. <laughs> <laughs> Reese's pregnancy was the funny one when Chris told you they just had the baby already. It was great. Yeah, you got upset. You were emotional. Well, you were being a jerk because she was having Braxton Hicks contractions. Yeah, I had things to do besides hanging around the hospital, waiting for her to decide whether or not to push him out. I was pushing He would not come out. Well, in his defense, he was correct. Uh, it sucks out here. <laughs> but it remains true to form. He still does not want to leave his mother. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I we wouldn't change it. it though. We wouldn't change a thing. Would we, babe? Uh -oh. <laughs> the look, uh -oh. the look uh -oh. says yes. Dead silence. <laughs> Dead silence. <clears throat> well, on that on that uh, note, why don't you go ahead and uh, start us off with our first topic that uh, you thought of? It's yes. not something that she thought no, of. No, no. She didn't but think she, of it? I mean, she did think of it, but it's not Reagan's random thought. It's no. Like no, no, but I definitely discovered this. So, of course, me loving fuck. The fuck word. Yeah, fuck only, word. only the word. Let's fuck, 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 fuck. Right. I love that. So, it brought me to do some research. And I discovered that when fuck was first being used... It was not a curse word. And I was like, wow, why couldn't I live in these times when people were using the word fuck on a daily basis and no one looked at them sideways? And then somebody decided it was a curse word. And ever since then, it's frowned upon and people get mad because I overuse the word. So I say, let's start a petition or a movement or something. Let's bring the word fuck back to the English language. Let it be accepted. And, you know, let it, let it be a normal word. <laughs> well, I think uh, it's kind of like uh, drugs. If you legalize them, not as many as people want to use them. Well, I, think, I will, though. I think the same would apply here. It wouldn't be as awesome a word. If it wasn't a curse word. Well, I would still use it, so I really don't care if other people would think it was that it's awesome. But you could use that for an argument if you'd like. I did. 
Okay, well, great, right. thanks. He calls it a sentence enhancer. He uses that word. He sprinkles out parsley. I'm just saying. <laughs> I would like to say that I think that that particular word decreases your intelligence level. The English language has so many other words in it that you can use. When you use one word that takes the place of 400 other words, it just means that you're not as intelligent as other people who can use those other words. That's what I think. I, I think it's disagree. not smart <laughs> to offend your wife. I'm not offensing. I'm not offensing. Offending. Well, you... Uh, I, I, well, well, I have a counterpoint to what he just said. Can I have my counterpoint to yes, what he just yes, said? Yes, yes, So, studies have shown that well-educated people with a wide range of words, cussing is actually better at producing long, more words when they curse. I have no idea what that sentence means. Me either. Does okay. that even make sense? <laughs> yes. Already you're I, showing the intelligence level <laughs> is lower. Studies have shown that well-educated people with a wide range of words at uh -huh. their disposal uh -huh. are better at producing cuss words than those with less verbal fluency. Oh. This suggests a correlation between language ability and intelligence. That's right. And I want to say Reese, is he uses words that sometimes I don't know what the words mean. And he says fuck all the time. Well, I think those words he uses, he doesn't know what they mean either. He just puts them up in the thesaurus. <laughs> no. He, Photosynthesis. He knows, believe yeah. me. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. <laughs> What's the one? I'm sorry. I can't think of it. Tangentially. Just... What is it? Tangentially, <laughs> yes. T on a tangentially related topic, <laughs> I would like to say that... Uh, Photosynthesis. Yeah. <laughs> Superfluous. Uh, I want to know why, before we press record on the microphone, you had all this shit about how the word fuck came about, and then I say, talk about the word fuck, and then you don't say it. Right, yeah, she had, like, the origin, yeah. and, like, the 1400s, and she was talking about medieval times, and, like, all kinds of things, ten minutes ago. You complained when But when we pushed the record then. button. Yeah, but that, I don't give a fuck about those other topics. I care about the word fuck. No, no, oh, no. Okay, you I got can't you. do that. As a disclaimer, I disapprove of this topic altogether. I would like to make that known. <laughs> so, actually, they don't even know exactly when the word fuck started. Um, it. Uh, some people think it's Germanic. Some people think it's possibly um, Latin. Um Swedish, maybe even. I mean, it's come Irish. Um, now but, you're just spitting out countries of origin. Is that what you? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all want? I'm sorry. Did you not just ask for facts? Thank yeah, you. But they you don't not. know. They do not know because it was so widely used <laughs> that no one can actually know the origin. I like it, but it was um, mainly used. As like to prick or to penetrate or to stick. So of course it's it's now. it started no, it's not. being referenced <laughs> no, it's not. for sexual intercourse. Right. Which is still not how it's used now. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, don't, no, 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 no. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, I don't know nothing do. about that. Yes, you do. Used even less now. No, no. I'm just saying when you say that word, do you do you mean intercourse? Oh no. yeah. Oh. No, you don't. No, I don't. No, you no, don't. don't. When you say okay. "f you," yeah, does that mean I would like to have intercourse with you? No, it doesn't. No, it, it doesn't. means the opposite of that. <laughs> I think so. It's, it's really just a slander. Well, anyway, so um, <laughs> one uh, theory is that the higher class at one point was using uh, better words like "copulate." And the lower class was using words like fuck. And so it became uh, more derogatory. Mm -hmm. And you, well, you were looked down upon if you used that kind of language. Mm. So uh, that's one theory as to why it became more of a bad word. Um, Not like that. But actually, uh, it was very rarely in written form. It, it was mm. almost always just spoken, spoken. Um, however uh, 
I did think Chris would enjoy this. Um, in Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street, I already know this. It's night. dropped over five hundred times. Freaking Ooh. right. In Tarantino's Pulp Fiction, it's said around four hundred times. So and lots of people like the like those movies. So yeah. obviously they don't have too much of a problem. But anyway, that's you want to know where else it's said a whole bunch of times. In yeah, prison? he does Dallas. I was like in prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think in The Wolf of Wall Street they say that where like every two and a half minutes or something it's uttered. I mean, it's all. I, I think they it. said it, it's 180 Not minutes. The movie. Is oh, yeah. is the running time, uh-huh. and it's said over 500 times. Jeez Louise. Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with that. I need to watch that movie. Did you just say prison? I what did. is wrong with your mind? <laughs> what is wrong with your mind, Debbie Does Dallas? Prison? Porn? Yes, much better than prison. I mean, Why? You he really should be talking about porn? I'm here. Fuck, I'm in prison. You know what's Fuck. happening in prison? Yeah. Porn? No, not no, porn. No, not porn. Oh, it's porn. Gay porn. It's porn is not people. Yeah. And... The clown issue is brought up in prison a lot. A lot. Right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I just called that. <laughs> oh, I had a blind moment. I'm sorry. I was like, wait, what? I'm not so sure yeah. that one is funny. Yeah, you ever see uh Well, it's, that's the that's why prison is worse than porn. You ever see Dirty Work by with uh, Norm Macdonald in it? No. Dirty Work. Dirty Work is a movie with Norm Macdonald. He go he gets arrested and he goes to prison, and uh, some guys. Uh, like he's just sitting on a bench in a cell with a bunch of guys and a couple of guys, big guys going, come here, you know, and he walks off camera and he comes back up and he's buttoned up his pants and he's going, ridiculous, grown men behaving that way. You know what hurts the worst? It's the lack of respect. No, actually it's the other thing. The other thing hurts the worst. <laughs> yeah, I would think it would be the other thing. Most oh definitely the other thing. <laughs> oh my God. So the other thing I, uh, Made me think of that is you said you wanted to know why they uh, bleep out certain things on uh, television. Yeah, so um, that was kind of a random thought, but so everyone knows that you know, well, not so much anymore. But usually on TV they bleep out curse words, mm-hmm. and most of the time you can tell what they're saying or whatever. But what hits me as odd is if someone wants to say the word asshole. It's ass bleep, <laughs> which I don't understand. Why is hold the offensive word, right? Well, why isn't it bleep hold? I just, <laughs> right. I don't get it. Right, so you're right. Yeah. If, if I go and I want to say butthole on TV, is it butt bleep? I, because hold seems to be the offensive part there. I, I just don't understand why it's okay to say ass, but not asshole. That is a that actually is a good that question. Because oh, we have an ass animal. is an actual animal. It's a donkey. <laughs> it's a real thing. Ass by itself is not a curse word. But hole is a hole in the ground. Yeah. Well, when you say asshole together, it becomes a curse word. Yeah. That's true. But why is the hole the cursing? Why not bleep it all out? Yep. I don't know. The same thing. I think the same. Correlation could be made if they were saying bullshit, and they do bull bleep yeah. or beep bleep shit, right? <laughs> right, right? The opposite way around, yeah. because then shit is still not exactly acceptable generally, right? So why are they bleeping the bull instead of the shit? I prefer when they don't bleep and they just dub over words that aren't curse words. Oh, that's I funny. prefer that. That, that's that funny, is right? so funny. Because you know, it's always so ridiculously yeah, they, bad. They, but, you know, I actually found out. I used to think, why the hell did they dub it as that? Yeah. But actually, there is a reason. I was watching an interview with John Goodman, and he says that when they call him in to, to come back into the studio to redub over so they can do a television edit, they actually try to think up silly, absurd things to say over it because they think it's dumb that they're right. dubbing it over. So they're making, so a, they're making actually fun making, of yeah, the they're fact actually, that they actually have to right, do it. Yeah. Right, which is why they'll, they'll say stuff like, go thank yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. or, or like, uh, in fact, uh, the, actually what they were talking about, John Goodman uh, was, um, uh, oh my God, what's the movie with him and Jeff Bridges? Um, the Big Lebowski. They were dumping over some of his lines in The Big Lebowski and there's a line where he says, this is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass. So he dubbed it over to, this is what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. 
But <laughs> <laughs> well, why would they have bleeped out Alps? I mean, ass. <laughs> they didn't bleep out Alps. Ass, I mean. Because they didn't have hole on the end. Well, they didn't bleep it out. They covered yeah, it over. Why would they have dubbed it? Well, because you can't find a stranger in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. That's probably why. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't flow. If you find a stranger in the Alps, it makes much more right, sense. Right, right. You know, and you can be a slug in a ditch, <laughs> if you follow me. Oh, my God. Yeah. Movies are fun, aren't they? I love it. I love it. Oh, Reagan didn't think that was funny. <laughs> For some reason. Not it was funny, though. Oh, well, it's entertaining. All right, well, okay. So, uh, someone else take it away. <laughs> Yay. It is December, and we, it and is, we didn't it is. broach the topic of Christmas and how it's uh, one of the biggest holidays monetarily. The and biggest. Second, huh. the uh, biggest. Well, I think it's second to Valentine's Day. Is, is it? Not? Oh, amazing. I don't think it is. Really? No, because so it's bigger than Valentine's Day. most people for Valentine's Day will buy, like, one present. Uh-huh. And for Christmas, you have to buy multiple. And for all kind of people, you feel obligated nope. to buy four. Nope, not yeah. anymore. As po- no, but um, think about it. Yeah. For Valentine's Day, uh, let, let's say at your workplace, right? You don't buy Valentine's gifts for everyone you work with. Correct. But for Christmas, you feel obligated. I don't buy Christmas presents for people I work with. Not everyone. We're talking about in general, dumbass. I know uh, what you're saying. You said it. I don't know why you're coming at me sideways. <laughs> so, yeah, I got you. But um, I would only participate, like, if they did, like, they drew names or something like that at work. But you but you see what I'm saying? They wouldn't do that for Valentine's Day. They wouldn't say, hey, let's draw names for Valentine's Day. Yeah. I mean, they just don't. Yeah, they so should. So, inherently, just saying it. people buy more things for Christmas yeah. than they do at Valentine's Day, which would make right. Christmas monetarily right. more than Valentine's Oh, absolutely. Day. Also, it's mostly just men buying shit on Valentine's Day because the women are not going out and buying Valentine's gifts for their man. You um, are wrong. I knew, you, I knew the two of you were going to say that, but you are full of shit, both of you. Fuck you, no, uh, we're not. Oh, no, you are full of beep. <laughs> okay, well, let me tell you something. Mr. Christopher right here is a liar. No, I didn't Ooh. say you. I didn't say you. I said women. I was speaking uh, in generalities. I think we need to rewind it because I'm pretty sure you said you. He did. I you said do. you. And I, I think, think you, you pointed I said to you two were full of shit. I didn't say you two <laughs> weren't buying well, that in, presents. That in, you know, oh, that's true. I don't know what you said in the beginning. Oh, my that God. That infers that we, didn't do, that we don't buy presents. This, this but that's not, okay, because Valentine's Day is coming up. Well, you and and I guarantee you, you're not going to buy him anything for Valentine's Day. I will not buy so you anything. So, you're going to see my argument has been made. I might not buy anything for him either. My argument has been made. I'll buy you something, Reggie. Thanks. I mean, your birthday's close to it, too. Oh, Lord, let's not even go there. And Moving on. Birthday, <laughs> oh, oh. Is that a thing? Big dog, big dog. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot to say my catchphrase. Yeah, yeah, you oh, didn't uh, do your thing. I'll sign out. I'll sign out. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not used to doing it. Christmas. Christmas was what we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, Christmas. We somehow got screwed out into Valentine's Day. <laughs> because I thought that it was the biggest money drag holiday, right? But you think that Christmas is the big money drag, which makes sense to me in your argument. Well, also because how many people decorate for Valentine's Day? People mm. spend an ass load of money on Christmas decorations. Who does? People. That's true. Yeah, people. I hate people. Well, I hate people too, but unfortunately they buy people? stuff. I hate well, we both all. know. I we all, all know that he does. Yes. Yep. I inherit. I like people inherently, but I try not to. But I'm just a fucking... I try not to like people. I do. I just can't help it. It's the truth, though. You ask him. It is the truth. I it try not to like people. I'm always like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, why are you liking people so yeah. much? God. He said, no, he goes, why are you so fucking nice? I'm like, I'm sorry. It's my daddy's fault. We're in, we're in the damn line at the grocery store. She strikes up a conversation with somebody. They started that, it, not me. I was like, come on. I'm just trying to check out. I'm not here to make a new friend. <laughs> But me being nice gives us that senior discount. Uh, I think it's the gray in the beard that gets us the <laughs> yeah, senior I think discount. It's his old wrinkly I think ass it's the no hair. And the oh gray my god, in the beard. if y'all are getting senior discounts, y'all have bigger problems than you think. 
I'm Ooh. getting them. You th- well, uh, you get every discount you can, babe. All right. <laughs> they got, Tuesdays, they got, and, if, Tuesdays and Thursdays. If they wanted to make give, it known. Yeah, if they wanted to give me a child discount, I would take that as well. I don't give a shit. We don't even ask discount. for it. She just like here you go. Yep. She just assumes that I'm old time. enough for that senior discount. And yes. I just don't tell her she's wrong. Yes. Wow. He's got a coupon on his face. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey, five percent is five percent. That's earn, right. I earn his gray That's, hair. You know what else? Somebody told me one time, twenty bucks is twenty bucks. That's right. That's right. It is. As it turns out, it totally is. So you know, I guess. Anyway, back to Christmas. Back to Christmas. Since we can't seem to go down that road, what is your Christmas list? What would you like to get for Christmas? Ooh. Well, I can tell you, when I was young, I always had the same three things on the can top I guess of my the first one? Can I guess the first Go one? Ahead. A bike. No. Really? Really. Number one was always a horse. Number two was always a dog. And number three was always a hamster. Really? Two out of three ain't bad. Well, she yeah. Got, she no, got no, two no. out of three. I got fucked out the dog. I... One, I, I got a hamster one here. Yep. Oh, no, that just didn't Two, work. No, that, she didn't work that correctly. <laughs> Two, I got a dog one year, but it wasn't for Christmas. And after a couple of weeks, it went bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, I think it was because that dog sucked. I remember that dog. <laughs> Who was that dog? Dixie. Yes, but did it matter? I had a dog, and then I did Yeah, didn't. it mattered, because the rest of us lived in that house, too. You weren't Chris the only person in that house. down the toilet. Okay. <laughs> the point is, how do you bring your kids home a dog and then take it away? Really? Oh, sorry. You lost your puppy. Yep. But I yeah. did never get a horse. But that was always on my list every year. Where were we going to put this uh, horse? So I was very used to disappointment. <laughs> well, in our backyard? She's acting like, oh, they never got me a horse. Right. Like, you can just have a horse. Like, you never wish for something that you okay. knew you were going to get? I was asked a question. I answered it. Oh, I thought okay. you were answer. reasonable. Okay. That's right. what I'm saying. Sometimes yeah, I mean, number one, one on the list could have been a unicorn. You don't that's know. True. That, that's true. That still would have been number one on the list. That's true. That's true. Right? Unicorns are cool. Yeah. Yep. However, now I have children. The oldest is 24 and the youngest is 17. And I recently said, hey, y'all, I have already begun shopping. Please send me your list. And I've hardly gotten lists from anyone, and so I have informed them that on Christmas Day, they will smile and be thankful for whatever crap I give them, since they do not give me any items on their list. And how do these kids not want stuff? They want stuff, I just they're just not telling me. They're scared of you, like me. Well, they should be telling me what so, they want. So you're complaining that you don't have to buy gifts for your children? Oh, I have to buy gifts. That's not, gifts. That's that's not what you're saying. I have to buy gifts. She's saying that she's complaining that they're not telling her what to buy. And then, and then when she does buy some crappy stuff, which she does tend to do, and they open it and look at it like, oh, the yeah. hell is this? Then she's going to be mad and we're all going to be they mad. And I'm going to have to take Dakota and shake him by the ears and try, try to punch him in the face because he's disrespecting a gift on Christmas morning, which mm. is not never a good situation. <laughs> one year, one of my children, who will not be named, but was, you know, over 18 at the time, refused to give me a list, oh. so I bought what I thought that person wanted, and that person was very upset on Christmas Day. Sorry, you didn't give me a fucking list. I bought they what I thought she named. wanted. She said not named. They were already named. No, right. no. I'm no, not, I don't I think know who she's not name that person right here on this podcast. No, I know who it is, though. Oh, well. Anybody? Well, you have to because I already named them. No. no it's not that person. It's oh, not that person. person. It's person. not that person. Is it this person? Ah, ah, ah. Yes. Oh. Okay. okay. Different person. However, yep. in, the, in our group chat, I did, you know, would like to ask random questions that may help me figure out something to buy. So I asked them. What house they would belong to in Harry Potter, which then oh my ma- made everybody have oh to go. And Harry <laughs> Bodie went to the wrong website to find out what house he was on. So then they all had to go to the official Harry Potter house website yeah. to find out what house work. they were. Yeah, have you ever gone to a website yes. to try to Google what house you're in? Ask for him what he Potter is. Artwork? Ask him what he did. Yes. I made him do it. So I had to it. do this, and there's like 26 different places you can go. 
So I clicked on the number one on the Google, thinking that's probably the one that I have to go to. Right, right. But it's not. So then I click on another one, and it tells me a whole different thing. So now I'm in two houses, and then my son sends me a link to the official one. Right, this is the actual <laughs> official Harry Potter fan club. Sure. Where, who's your house, right? Yeah. And you have to sign up for this, and it's like very official, very mm-hmm. for real. And you answer all these questions, and then now... I am Hufflepuff. Fucking right, so am I. I bet Chris is Slytherin. No, he's not. What? He is fucking Gryffindor. Yep. Of all what? fucking houses. I'm not houses. happy about it. What? I'm not happy about it. Which is why I don't believe that that website is accurate. Because <laughs> he is 100% Slytherin. Right. 100%. I mean, I, what are I, you? I kept trying to click I on the house it. that was the one that I had the shower for Hermione. But I think you should be, I think you that one wasn't an option. Because I felt like that's the house I belonged in. You wanted to be in Hermione's shower. That's correct. <laughs> yes. If there was a house that, that was are, just in my shower, you would have been That's the one. Lady, I if you were a Slytherin, you would have figured out how to be in her shower. Well. <laughs> but there's a lot and of our pl- tech guy is a Griffin. There's Griffin a lot of plot holes in Harry Potter. Shut your mouth. Don't out. even talk bad I about think, him. Okay, well. You're not allowed to talk bad about Harry well. Potter. Why did they let him live with abusive people? <laughs> Builds character. That's, That's right. There was no reason. He had to go through the tough times to be the man he was to become. Sure. I mean, all I know okay, is, we're not I'm Harry Potter, I go to Hogwarts every semester, and I'm like, you dickheads, why did I just have to live with those abusive people? No wizard anywhere could fucking arrange for me to live somewhere? That's all I'm saying. Right. You don't know, they may be coming out with Harry Potter the man, where he just destroys everybody. Okay. Yeah, why was I living in a closet during this no, off exa- semester? Yeah, yeah. This break? I'm the man, I'm the chosen one, I gotta live in a goddamn closet. <laughs> well, if he were a better wizard, he would have made himself a home. I don't know that I would have right. saved them all, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I gotta live in a closet? Well, go after yourselves. No, huh? no, listen. Huh? What you don't know is that when he closed the door to that closet under the stairs, he made magic inside, and it was a four-star room oh, okay. at the plaza. Okay. Gotcha. So he turned it into yeah, a shower. I got gotcha. right. you. Right. He had he had her mind no, shower Jenny's, in the closet. Ginny shower. No, well, either one. Yeah, she's a redhead too. But I'm just saying. What about redheads? I like them. He's always they're my redheads. favorite. They're my is favorite it because of the fire. Yep. <laughs> you realize your wife is not a redhead. I do realize that. Yeah. <laughs> wife really does she, have hair color. She, she should <laughs> consider herself lucky because I downgraded. From redhead. Wow. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, who needs back down? You know I love wow, you. Thing. You know I love you. It's okay. You know okay. I'm joking. He's going to sleep on the There's couch. There's no redhead. I, no, no, no. As if. No, no redhead as awesome as you. You know that. You're a fucking right. You know that. You know that. Yes. He's going he's gonna to fail on that one. <laughs> there is no woman that would make me leave my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was about to actually say Jessica Biel. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Henry Cavill. Adios, Chris. Right. And everybody has that guy, right? You have that guy. No, I have that girl. Who's your guy? I don't have a guy. Oh, she has the guy. She won't admit it. She likes to keep it in the closet. But she, she I'm not going to lie to you. Henry Cavill's my boyfriend. Listen, I don't know it. If, sure. if, if we could not be together, I'd be happy being alone. Marky Mark. No. Marky Mark is the guy. Uh huh. She was a fan yep. of the Funky Bunch. Oh, I can, yes. I can. Don't tell me. Oh, I grew up in the same house as you. I grew up in the same house as you. Well, then you would remember that all yes. the shit I had was from um, Backstreet TV. Boys. Uh, in KOTV. No kids on, New oh, kids on the block. Yes, I, I remember. In the know he says in KOTV. She had some <laughs> stupid fucking VHS tape. Did you have the pins? Oh, my God. I had right. everything. The yeah, pins. I had the hat. Holy yes, God. the jacket. I had the jacket. Yeah. I had yeah. the pins. All ah. my babysitting money went to New Kids on the Block merchandise. But she That's won't tell you that she has that guy. But they're not the because same. Because I'd rather be alone. <laughs> yeah? Do you know my daughter and son listen to their music? Their old music? Yes. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, hanging tough. Yeah. yeah. We yes. talked about that already and the reason for that, didn't we? Yep. The reason that our kids listen to our music is because they don't have their own. Right. Nobody's making anything worth a crap right. these days. Well, I have to say, listening back on this music that I really liked as a teenager, it wasn't that, that good. No. Well, they the weren't. Teeny Bopper music wasn't, but like the bands, like no, the bands were kids yeah. on the block. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> the old classics. But there were they were classics before when we were kids. So we basically did the same thing. Mm-hmm. Or we listened to the old school stuff while we were coming up as well. 
Although we did invent our own genre of music, we which did. is grunge. We did. We they, did. they have not come up with Also, that. rap music was invented while we were growing up yep, as well. that's true. That's true. Yep. So yep. there was new things that were popping off the whole time yep. we were coming they up. Have, they have, creatively, they have nothing. They don't have their own uh, music. They don't have their own movies. They don't have their own clothes. They have right. nothing. Right. All they have is a, no, they, fucking, right, a cell phone. Right. That's all they they have. created woke. Well, uh, that is true. Gotta be a trigger. Triggered. Yeah. And that's something to be proud of, isn't it? Yeah. They're going to go Ooh. down in the history books. How do more of them not kill themselves? Hey, from, slow down. From offending other people. Slow down yeah, with that what? craziness. No, I understand. What, no, no, she doesn't mean it in a mean way. She means it in like... <laughs> no, she doesn't. You know she how means you get all like, these dude, white people going, Oh my God, I feel so bad with my white privilege. You deserve more than me. How are they not killing themselves out of because white guilt? Because it's not real. Right. That's why. That is correct. It's theater. Yep. It's not real. They don't feel guilty about being white. Right. They're they just acting like they do stuff. because it's the popular thing to do. Right. It's all bullshit. It's garbage. Theatrical. That's all it is. Yep. Well, <coughs> speaking of theatrics, uh, one last time, actor strike. It's over. <laughs> it's God. over. In a related story, movies will continue to suck. Yes. <laughs> Tangentially related. Yep. What remakes will come out next? Right. Yes, we will do Superman. All They're talking about remaking Star Wars. I actually, believe okay. it or not. I, yes. I, I have done, I have, yes. I'm just done with Star Wars. Right. Yeah, just really? completely done with right. Star Wars. In fact, even the original Star Wars is now garbage because of what they've done to the, the story. That's a weird, that is a weird thing. I mean, they have made such crappy Star Wars content that I actually don't like the original trilogy as right. much as I used to. I can't explain it. I don't understand no, how that works. No, it's a real thing. But it is a real thing, and, and it really hurts. Yes, it yep. does suck it because really hurts. we love that so much, and it was so great for a time, and now they've ruined the entire legacy. So when you look at those three movies now, they're not nearly as great as they yep, were. That's right. They really have come down a significant yep. amount. That's yep. real. That's yep. a real thing. Millennials, they, they can't understand what Star Wars was, how culturally important it was. I mean, anything. You would fucking walk down the street, someone would say, hey, did you see that new Star Wars Pez dispenser? What? This is a Pez dispenser and Star Wars? Well, I got to check it out. I mean, that's right. how it was. Anything Star Wars was special. Right. Anything Star Wars was special. And, and for years after, even still was because right. there were collector's items, right? Mm -hmm. And everything Star Wars had inherently higher value as a collector's item than any other toys. Yep. I mean, it it continued for decades until until they made the prequel. Until they <laughs> they they crushed it. They yep. just literally just took a hammer and smashed it. Yep. Well, speaking of, Star I blame Wars. George Lucas. I blame him also. He sold out like a I punk. Blame. Well, the thing about here's the interesting thing about George Lucas, which actually was uh, pointed out. By, you ever see the documentary, um, The People versus George Lucas? No, I haven't. Okay. I'm it's not quite that big of a nerd. Okay, well, I'm a big nerd. <laughs> so the guy, the guy that made that, I saw an interview with him, basically he's talking about how he shit on Star Wars and ruined it for everybody. So they're interviewing the director, and he said something which really stopped and made me think. Because you think, when you say George Lucas, you think, man, this is one of the most creative guys in the world. He did Star Wars, he did Indiana Jones, this guy's fucking huge. But, uh... It has come to light that the original Star Wars movie, when he was making it, was kind of shitty, and his wife basically re-edited the movie and made it good. That pretty much is a fact. George Lucas' George Lucas wife. Lucas's wife. Really? Yeah, she de yeah, they divorced right before Star Wars came oh, out. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, the Star Wars being made better by by being edited correctly, is, is that is what happened. Hmm. Um, even though he did come up with the core concept stuff, I mean, he, the movie itself, as you could tell, because he directed the previous all by himself, left to, to his own devices, he's not that good. Not that good. So, but what about Indiana Jones, you say? Well, Spielberg was involved, right? right. So, there's a scientific thing where um, once could be accidental, you know, twice could be a coincidence, but three times is on purpose. Right, sure. But there is no third time with George Lucas. Cool. There is no what's the third thing he invented that's fucking awesome to prove that he really is awesome at creating stuff. Well, wasn't there Return of the Jedi? No, 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 that's Star Wars. Wars. No, 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 that's Star Wars. So that's three. You see, that's under one umbrella. No, no, but what he's oh, saying it's is, all under the you see what I'm saying? Umbrella. Creatively, he only created two things, and in both of those things, he had people that helped him make it good. Star so Wars by and him, Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. By himself, he's not really all that. When he's left to his own devices, he makes poo poo. 
<laughs> when nobody can tell him, you know, you should change things, oh. it's poo poo. Okay, poo poo. I'm just saying. How what? old is he? I don't know. He's poo poo. <laughs> I thought we cursed. I yeah. thought we cursed enough. Yeah, I thought episode. we had enough of it. Poo poo's fine with me. I'm all right with doo doo and poo poo. So I actually, um, a couple days ago, was listening to the podcast where we were talking about movies, yeah. and you were talking about Stanley Kubrick. Yep. And The Shining, yep. and how he used the miniature, that yep. there wasn't actually that much blood yep. in those miniature. And it made me think that, did you know in Star Wars, the Millennium Falcon was actually a miniature that was used? I did know that. <laughs> yes, of course I did. <laughs> Another Ahmed. miniature. It just made me think. That how would you like to miniatures own are that used miniature? Often yep. in what? movies. Oh, yeah. Oof. Cool stuff, yep. right? But not maybe not so much anymore. Unfortunately, because no, because now it's so just made up. Now it's just on a computer. Yeah, like <laughs> oh, you yeah. didn't have to make. Yeah, there's you didn't no, have to make it. There's no tangible object. Right. Yeah. Yep. That sucks. That's another unfortunate fact, right? Yep. But Disney does own uh, Star Wars. Yeah, so unfortunately. Dis- Disney announced that they're gonna actually end Disney Plus in December. Like they're gonna start ending it. Sorry, Why? I'm sorry. I'm tangentially going. Yeah, yeah, I'm good with it. Why? Um, because they're losing money. People are dropping Disney left and right. But Disney's going to buy Hulu from Comcast. Oh, that's great. They're going to ruin something else that we love. And so they're going to join Comcast and Disney together. Right. And they're going to put both of their catalogs together. Starting in December, they're going to start beta testing it. Okay, well, explain this to me. Like, seriously. Mm-hmm. So I have a Hulu, ESPN, Disney, Disney bundle. bundle. Okay? Yeah. The only reason I have Disney bundled with it was because uh, financially it was stupid not to have Correct. it. It was like literally like $2 more a month. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, my kids like to watch some of the Disney crap. Um, so <laughs> how is that going to work with if Disney's buying out whatever, Hulu okay. and stuff, uh, they're canceling Disney Plus. How is that going to work for my subscription? That's interesting that you're asking us this question because uh, neither one of us are on the board at Disney. <laughs> I so mean, we don't so they, actually they know they what the plan is. I'm saying, are. so they haven't said anything about that? No. It's, it's a, no. it's a so, logical question, dumb fuck. Yeah, how Ooh. would I know the answer to that? How would we know the answer because to that? Because you know everything. I have the answer. Right? Oh, oh great, she has Angie. the answer. You yes, see, because you dumbass. She Thanks for ruining my joke. That is a theme on this podcast. But anyway, continue. Well, sh- oh. oh. Well, you should stop being a smart ass. Well, Ooh. you should stop talking bad about people Ooh. and about redheads. It must be pick on Chris Day. Go ahead, Angie. Thanks. So currently, there is a Disney bundle that includes a single price for Disney, Hulu, and ESPN, but all exist as separate apps. According to Iger, increasing opportunities to bundle subscription products like a streaming platform gives the company such better upsell capabilities... So they're going to try to upsell you for everything they can, which is not termed likely sound good to many consumers. So that means the prices are going to go up. Then, uh, well, then I, I may just have to change my streaming services. And sure. the first thing they say is, Bob Iger says, tell parents to get prepared. Oh, I thought he told them oh. to get something else. Yeah, <laughs> right? Get well, thanks. Basically, get yeah. prepared means Thank get yourselves. Up. Thank yourselves. <laughs> Because a lot of parents like <laughs> use Disney Plus to like put their kids in front of it so they can watch. Well, no, it. we know why they use it. Yeah. Well, no, but then also um, with Hulu, they're going to be able to start just seeing whatever, so they're going to have to go in and do parental controls on it to block their little kids from seeing stuff. Well, I'm blo- I'm pissed off at Disney because they put a whole bunch of classic Disney movies mm-hmm. on Disney Plus, and I thought. Fuck, I'm paying for the shit. Let me go back and watch shit. So I watched Pollyanna. Okay. And yes. I really I wanted to watch Summer Magic. I love that movie. Never I heard haven't of it. seen it in Never forever. It. That's the one with Burl Ives. He sings in it or whatever. But anyway. Oh, okay. And that I think, I think it it's down. got Haley Mills in it that too. Narrowed it down. Well, of course, she wouldn't know it because you didn't really watch a lot of musicals when you were younger. Right. But anyway. All right. when I grew up. It's like it's like right. one of the only movies Disney no, made or that's old. not <laughs> on the list. On the list. Didn't matter. I bet you it probably got destroyed. So uh, you know what I mean. I looked it up under IMDb like to make sure, and 
Yeah, it's just not. That's because Disney curated. They didn't just put their entire catalog on there. They curated the catalog. Everything that Disney made is not on Disney Plus. Yes, but that movie in particular should have been, and I'm very pissed because it was not. What's well, the movie that was that Disney did that we watched the other night? Oh, uh, Mountain. No, the yeah. boy from Dead Man's Bayou, which has never been put on physical media or uh, been released on uh, Disney. He had to Plus watch before. it in two parts on. I had to watch it on YouTube. I've never well, heard of it. I'm going to say something that is probably not a popular opinion, but it may be. I don't know. I don't care. That's the thing about this is because this is me right. giving my opinion, and I don't give a shit what nobody mm-hmm. else thinks. Disney, I didn't lose nothing with them people. Mm-hmm. All the little folks out there that are taking their little vacations to Disney World and Disneyland, I don't care. I got nothing to do with them people. I didn't lose nothing with them. They don't impress me. There's literally nothing that they have done that makes me excited or thinks makes me think, oh, that's look, that's Disney, that's great. Nothing about them. Nothing. I got nothing that makes me give a shit about Disney. That's the reality of it. So I will never be going to Disney World. I will never be going to Disneyland. I will never right. be Disney nothing. I'm just not that guy. Right. So if that's for you, if that's your thing, more power to you. But they don't have nothing for me. I didn't lose nothing over there. That's I've always wanted to go to Universal. No, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that is where we would go, is Universal. Universal is where I wanted to go. Which is also part of Disney, but it's not really about the Disney the mouse. corporate for me. It's just, you don't have nothing for me. Right? Yeah. I Wait, got, Universal's I got, I not Disney? Oh, yeah. It's definitely under that umbrella. Corporate. They own everything, as far as I know. They do. What don't they own, is the question. Everything in Orlando, for damn sure. Sea World. So Harry Potter is Universal. owned by Disney. Yes. So is Hello Kitty. So is Star Wars. Do you not know what Disney's been doing? They literally are taking over the world. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine no, that does. Bob Iger um, is Hitler. Oh my and god! Disney is Nazi oh Germany. my god! Okay. okay. Well, we went to Busch Gardens hey. and um, Sea World, and that was fun. Do they own that? Yes. No. Zeke Heil. <laughs> they didn't say that whenever Bush, you, uh, went. Bush owns Busch. Hold on. Well, who owns Bush? Beer. Oh my God. The Bushes. Um. No. I'm not kidding wrong, you when I tell you Bush. that Sea World is actually yeah. under I, the I, Disney I, umbrella. As far as I know, that's Disney literally you. owns everything. That's that real. Exists. That's not made yeah. up. I'm not lying right. yeah. when I say it. Uh huh. It is Disney. Yes. So, uh, what was I just thinking? <laughs> Disney <laughs> sucks. Uh, yeah, but Disney was, has nothing for you. Disney that. owns everything. Yeah, I don't know. I, was, I, was I don't know where you are. I, I don't okay know where you are. I've already laid that out for people. They know yep. now, right? That you know, when you tell me, "Oh, me and my family's going to Disney World for vacation," right. I don't give a shit. Right, right. You're right. not impressing um, me. Right, little, not even a little bit. <laughs> what does Google say? SeaWorld and Bush Gardens is owned by Blackstone Group. Oh my God! Yeah. That's even which worse is, than right? Disney. Which is, which is who? Well, follow that in, back. In my, right, if, if we take in my analogy, Blackstone is Japan. Right, right, <laughs> right. So, but not China? It's not China, right? Okay, you don't know about the axis of evil. I don't want to feel like doing a whole World, World War, War II, II thing. Yeah, okay, let's that. go to another topic. Oh, okay. But the thing is, whenever you said compare Disney to Hitler, yep. and she went, oh my God, you know what? People literally are Hitler today, and nobody gives a shit. Right. So it's not even an oh my god anymore. Right. You can literally say, I hate Jews and I want to kill all the Jews, and nobody's going to bat an eye at you, which for me is ridiculous. But anyway, that's a whole other topic. It's that, crazy. That's a whole rabbit hole that we've already gone down. Oh, yeah, that's some other <laughs> topics you said we would discuss that we, that we are not Choking discussing. Yourself. Maybe on the next episode. So, okay, so um, let me go ahead and say that I... Uh, Thanked up, and I forgot to to uh, mention thank something. You. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> it was a total thank. Piece of um, thank. Yeah, total thank up. <laughs> so uh, I should have said this last episode, but uh, so because uh, everybody loved the Halloween thing so much, while I did a movie every night, we do the same thing for Christmas. So it's already been three days. Be the third movie, yeah, yeah, three movies in. Uh-huh. So uh, tune in uh, Facebook page every. Uh, Every night, first 26 nights of December, I'm going to do a Christmas movie. Christmas, Christmas movies. Movie. 20, 20, 26 nights of Christmas. Because the 26th one, I'm going to throw in a little Rudolph movie that's not Christmas, but uh, oh. Rudolph Shiny New Year. Oh, spoiler alert. 
Oops. So, uh, the, the last one's going to be Rudolph Shining New Year. But uh, So I do a Christmas movie every night. And it's not only so, cartoons. Yeah, so, yeah this will be a lot of family stuff. But, uh, like, for example, the movie number one was uh, Die Hard. Yes, because Die Hard is a Christmas it movie. It is We've Christmas already discussed yep, that. It's right. Mm-hmm. It's, yep, no, the no, poll no that doubt. we put out to our 74,000 mm-hmm. viewers mm-hmm. has also proven Die Hard is a Christmas movie. That is correct. It was unanimously voted by 100% a Christmas movie in our poll. So, 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 definitely there it is. is no argument there. Nope, there is no, nope, no between argument. Between any of us and our mm-hmm. listeners, you don't have an argument, do you? No. Nope. Right. Come no. out to the coast. We'll have a great, have a few laughs. Yep. Now I know how a TV dinner feels. <laughs> <laughs> making fists with your toes. Yeah, making fists with your toes. Man, that's a good Christmas movie. It's so great, isn't it? <laughs> Love it. Yep. And what's the, what's the famous... Uh, Catch catchphrase. Yippee ki yay! Yes, that's the one. Couldn't remember it. Yippee ki yay, yay, mother, mother banker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we've established that we like the uh, the word, so you can just go ahead and say not it. We. No, he doesn't not like we. to say it. No, not he doesn't we. like to say it. He is such a liar. I know it. Yeah, he <laughs> pretends to be a different person, but this is no. all undercover. No, I say uh, I say it when it's back. appropriate. Oh, okay. All I right. don't refuse to say it when all it's right. appropriate. <laughs> what was that too much? Okay. Was that too much for you? No, 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 not at all. So this is just like a to let everybody know what's about to happen, so you can save your Gmail accounts, um, just in case you have one. So <laughs> your your poor puppy is sleeping so well. <laughs> she snores. Okay, she's got a flat snout. She's a cutie. It's fine. So G- Google has stated that. Starting December first, Gmail and photo content will starting to be del- will start being deleted. So if you have not logged into your Gmail account within the within the last two years, and you have photos and everything, your ass better start to lo- better start logging in because you're gonna lose all kind of stuff. I'm start- pretty sure I have a Gmail account or two, but I'm pretty sure I don't have any photos, and I wouldn't even know where to begin to look for the accounts or the passwords. Mm. Yeah, I'm okay with that, too. I have a couple of Gmail accounts, and I don't care. They can delete them if they want to. <laughs> I just, you know, a lot of people are like, what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. Yeah. I'm like, well, if you haven't gone to it in, like, two years, why do you right. care? What's exactly. What's right. But they also think, oh, maybe I do have photos. And then, like, oh, crap, you know. And yeah, then it's too late. You haven't thought of those photos in two years. How Correct. about going to be? Panic. Panic. Politicians are going. Will they be wiped forever, though? <laughs> right, yeah. Those that want them gone. <laughs> Hillary Clinton is thinking, yay, thank yeah. God. <laughs> More stuff deleted. Yeah. All right, so uh, I had a viewer request, or a listener request, excuse me. You can say uh, his name. For a topic. Well, I, I was told I couldn't say his name. Oh, Lord, we all know who it is now. Uh, he who, sh- who shall not be named. He who shall not be named. <laughs> So, he wanted me to talk about, uh, since I know so much about movies. Oh, is this the one you had to sleep over with? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I did not have yeah. a sleepover, by the way. He had a sleepover. I did not have a sleepover. He, we talked so, about the sleepover many, many times. Yeah. No. And it was such a very good night for him. Oh, we had a sleepover. <laughs> we went to his house to go to sleep. How many times did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I don't recall ever saying that phrase, but okay. All right, yeah, well. you did. All right. We've never had a sleepover at his so, house. Ashton, <laughs> Ashton, Ashton, Ashton. <laughs> yeah, how about that? His name should be Aston. Oh, oh. oh. it's a fighting words, Aston. You know that he's coming on the show, right? So he like. He, well, he, I was uh, thinking more of you, like you get an ass ton of Aston. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. you thinking of me? Yeah. Well, you confusing me with someone else. You sure like to say his name? Like well, then it would be ass done, because <laughs> I did his ass. Ass is done. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So I hear an ass ton about Ashton. Yes, we do. He's a pretty cool guy, though. He's a good well, dude, I'm sure. Yeah. I already like him. The fact that he listens to this podcast makes me like him. Exactly. So he uh, asked me to look into uh, deaths on movie sets. Mm -hmm. So I did. And I was surprised at how many I found. There was way more people killed filming movies than you would believe. So since it would take a long time to go through them all, I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like three or four short ones at a time and then uh, work. You know, I'm going to start off. I'm going to do them in chronological order. So I'm going to. Because it's the season. And way back in the day. <laughs> right? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas. We're yeah. talking about a lot of people getting yeah. dead. Yeah. Hey. And, uh, I'll end with uh, Alec Baldwin. Hmm. That'll be the last Alec one. Alec Baldwin is the murderer yep. of the, so. the Rust movie set. Yep. Allegedly. Right, allegedly. <laughs> Oh, no, it's so not actually, allegedly. It's <laughs> <laughs> actually. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the, so the first one is uh, way back in 1915, if you can Whoa. believe that. So there may be some other ones that I did not find, but these are the ones that I know about. This is so, why people tune into the podcast, because they want to hear about things that happened 108 years ago. That's right. That's and right. where else can you get information? About things that happened 108 years ago. Nowhere. <laughs> yeah, there's nowhere else they can go to find this information. That's right. Nowhere, nowhere else. else. This That's is right. the only place you can receive this information. That's right. Please continue. All right, you, all right, I will. I will. So in 1915, uh, there was a solid film called The Captive, okay, which uh, took place during the war. All right? So um, I believe Cecil B. DeMille actually directed this movie. So uh, Wow. Yeah. So in the movie, there was a group of soldiers who were supposed to break down a locked door. So to make the movie more realistic and not have to set up squibs, I guess, he uh, gave the extras real bullets in their rifles and told them to shoot at the door, Mm. which they did. Yeah, you can see where this is going. Yeah. So they shoot real bullets at the door, you know, poke some holes in the door, and then it's okay. So then they stop. They're going to do the next part of the scene where they're going to film the door actually being knocked down. So for that part, he put um, blanks in the gun. Okay, but one of the extras forgot to take the real bullet out of his gun. So they go to film the allegedly. No, no, not <laughs> allegedly. No, no, not allegedly. No, allegedly forgot. Right. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Well, maybe. So I'm not sure if his uh, last name was Baldwin or what, but uh, <laughs> uh, so he shot another extra in the head when they were filming that portion of the scene. Killed him instantly. Wow. Obviously, yeah. So, but I think that was back in the day whenever. Uh, well, it was. Rich, rich, famous people did stuff, and like there were no consequences. Because oh, as far as I know, there were no consequences. It was all good. Cause he could, yeah, Cecil B. DeMille continued to make lots of stuff. Right. So yeah. Are no you worries. saying today there are consequences when um, well, famous sometimes, people? Well, sometimes they have to not be able to make movies for like a month <clears throat> after Baldwin. they kill someone. Baldwin. Yeah. Baldwin. It was not 108 years ago. No, no, it that's was right. Just recent, <laughs> and he's still making movies and still okay to walk around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk more about that whenever that comes. Yeah, okay, I, I have some things to say about that. So uh, the second one what is... What was the name of that movie? I already told you. It was called Captain. The I know, Captain. But I missed it. I the wanted Captain. to hear it again. The Captain. The don't Captain. Add, don't answer 1915. questions. 1915. <laughs> so the second one is uh, 1920. Oh. The, the Skywayman is what it's called. It um, another silent film. And the only thing I know about it is uh, there were, a plane crashed while filming Killing Two Pilots. That's all I know. Right. So, you know. So, not this, not anything. Just could have been an accident. Just right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah. Nothing I think, nefarious. I don't think it was a sabotage incident. I think it just happened. Right. So, now, this one's pretty crazy. This this incident is actually kind of kind of sus. Well, if they could have talked about it, if it wasn't silent, we might have more information. That's right. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yep. That's right. Awesome. Everybody was mum. So, I don't, I don't know what. To, I don't know what. That's all I could get out of. Mum was the word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> So, uh, in 1924, there's another silent film called The Warrens of Virginia, okay, which takes place during the Civil War. So, uh, there was an actress named Martha Mansfield, and of course, since it was Civil War, she was wearing one of those big, you know, hoop skirt dresses, you know what I'm talking about? The oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Round skirt, okay. <laughs> so, she play. films for the day, she's totally finished filming, nothing left to do, so she goes and gets in her car. Backseat chauffeur situation, so she's gonna relax for the day. So, I don't know the detail, the full details of this, I didn't get because this is where it gets fucking weird. <coughs> so, she's done for the day sitting in the car, and another uh person um flicked a match. <gasps> oh, so, wow. her window had to be rolled down. I can't, you know, unless it happened right before she got in the car, I don't know. But so, a match was flicked. And her dress ignited, burning the fuck out of her. Uh, the chauffeur got out, you know, tried, you know, they put the fire out, but she was burned so badly that she died the next day. Wow. Yeah. 
I mean, that seems kind of weird. I mean, I know people didn't give a fuck back in the old days. They were lighting cigarettes and stuff. So I don't know if the person was just like walking by lighting a cigarette and flick the match or I, I don't or if they were like, screw this bitch and then flick the match on. I don't know. I don't know what You're happened, right. but, but uh, yeah, she burned up yeah, and died the next day. That seems very combustible for an outfit. Yeah, but to that's go how up. women were back in those days. Those yeah, I don't know what the outfit was made out of. Seriously yeah. combustible. I mean, but, but they wore like fifteen layers of clothes under yeah. a yeah. freaking hoop skirt. Oh yes, and God. all lace and frilly drawers. Do you imagine how fast that burns? Okay, chances are she wasn't wearing a hoop skirt in the car. Uh, well, she was. I mean, I guess. I don't it know. It she was? Well, no, I don't know. I don't know. It says she was wearing a hoop skirt dress. Yeah, well, why would they it mention It says she was wearing, yeah, they said hoop skirt dress in the description of the thing. So, I'm assuming she was wearing it in the yeah, car. Yeah, she don't, you don't get naked to get in the car, do you? Right. Yeah, but you can take off the hoop skirt. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming it was not a regular right. class car. It might have been a limo, even. I don't know. Is, no, I understand what you're saying, though. In that year, but, yeah. were hoop skirts popular, or was the hoop skirt an actual costume? How the hell do we know? It was 103 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's relevant because if it was in costume, then she would have literally taken the hoop skirt off. I just said all the information that I know about it. <laughs> That's all I know. Okay? I am not an investigative reporter trying to solve a I murder what kind from of material her dress was made out of. Was it made out of yeah. crinoline? Gasoline, like I'm assuming. Well, no, there I'm are quite some... sure it was pure gasoline. I'm just saying, it seems <laughs> like she should have been able to get out of the car and roll on the ground. Or had they not learned stop, drop, and roll at that no, time? Well, since nobody she, knew about stop, drop, yeah, and yeah, roll. That, yeah, that didn't come out until like the 30s. Oh, my God. Yeah, when did the, the after school special start? The, the more you know. I mean, it, who flicks a match? You always that's what shake I'm saying. a match. kind of sus. That, that's I think she was murdered. Sus. If you watch any Western... You will know. Oh, no, they, they always flick, they flick a match. match. Yeah, yeah. He might have been trying to look cool. I'm on yeah, a movie set. Yeah, because they light it on their beard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. It was different times back then. You, it like it was you don't flick time. it toward a car. She was murdered. She totally was murdered. You think it was on purpose? I think we now need to look into this and try to solve the crime. Well, nope. have at it. Huh? What's have the name of the movie? We're gonna have to start an investigation. It's called. Oh my God! Here we go. It was called The Warrens of Virginia. The oh, yeah, the I'm game. totally looking this up. You look it up. You I'm going to solve this crime. All right. All right, so I'm going to talk about one more, and then I'll recommend my movie, I guess. So <clears throat> this was not as exciting. Uh, 19... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right. This, this right. Was, I'm, I can make it exciting. <laughs> this death was not as exciting as the other death. Uh, so Noah's Ark, 1928. Uh, during the, you know, the flood scene, <clears throat> they, I guess they were drowned. Three people were killed. And, uh, but you don't even know so they were so many, It just said they were killed. And since it was a flood scene, I'm going to go ahead and assume they drowned. Um, so many people were injured, along with those three people being killed, that they actually started implementing safety standards on movie sets because of this movie. 1928. Okay, so it's possible they did not drown, but were crushed. Uh, well, maybe the crowd was rushing yes. and people fell and yes. they were... Because, I mean... Think of how they would have had to drown. What, what kind of facility they would have had to have to have that much water for those people to drown. Yeah. I'm thinking they got crushed. Oh. So I have okay. an answer for you. Oh. Yay, Google. All Google. right, Angie. Let's go. Let's go. So uh, she died from burn suffered when a smoker's match ignited her costume of billowing hoop skirts. She was wearing hoop skirts and fl flimsy ruffles. She had just finished her scene and retired to an automobile when her clothing suddenly burst into flames when a match was flicked on them. Which is exactly what I said. So but it was a costume. Right. Right. But it was a costume. You didn't say whether it was a costume. Yeah, because or not. People... Well, I, mean, I said they were filming a movie that takes place in the Civil War, so she had a big hoop skirt. So, yeah, it was yeah. a costume. No, but you didn't know. Yeah, people if... in general don't get naked when they get into a car. No, but what, no, but what she know? was asking is did she take off right. the hoop skirt? Okay, I have... Which would imply getting naked. No, no, it does not. I have worn a hoop skirt as a costume. The hoop part, you take it off, and then you still have the freaking dress or Correct. skirt on. It just isn't flared out anymore. Yeah. The hoop is what makes it look like a bell. You wore Correct. It, you wore it in the year 2000 and something. You didn't wear it in the year 1902. No, whatever. but that is how Oh, I'm sorry. You think hoop skirts have come a long way since yeah, then? Yeah, they, they used to soak them skirts. in gasoline before the people wore them. So, yeah, they have come a long way. You're such an idiot. I swear to God. Yes. Oh my God. Absolutely, 100%. Oh you don't God. think that fabric 
has changed since 110 years ago? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, first me? of all, have you ever worn a hoop skirt? No, I have not. I can honestly say that. Well, we both have. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think I would remember. I he goes know. around saying, I'm a pretty princess all the yes, time. I think he does. With blue eyeshadow on and pink lips. <laughs> oh, boy. But I've yes, got a video that it's I can like... share. Do you? <laughs> it goes. Do you? <laughs> Maybe she had spilled a drink on herself of alcohol, which would make it ignite more. Because maybe she was, you know. You know what? I don't hey, know. Maybe don't she had the bottle. I mean, yeah. Like, guess, guess what? Believe it or not, alcohol has also changed since back then. Yeah. It used to be a lot more like mm-hmm. gasoline. A lot more, yep. <laughs> yeah, people used to not be pussies like they are today. Right. Yep. They used to strike matches on their beards. Right. <laughs> yep. I got what you're saying, though. I understand. They put cocaine in Coca-Cola. Yeah, cocaine. Damn right they did. You know, yep, cocaine and Coca-Cola. Cocaine was an actual ingredient of Coca-Cola. They didn't just Wait, used to put it in mean? there. He just said that. Is there he said they said? used to put cocaine in Coca-Cola. Right. No, cocaine used to be an ingredient of Coca-Cola. It's not like you had a Coke and you put a little cocaine in there. <laughs> right, right. That was a long it's time ago. Like do we know that for sure? <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, all right. Well, I'm just taking your tactic. It was a discussion. Hey, except that <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Oh, oh. 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 Wait a minute. Fired. Do we have a, someone else who knows everything? Do we have two people who know everything? Oh, I don't know everything. I just know what I say is correct. <laughs> wow. Siblings. All right, so uh, I'm going to recommend a movie Are you? that uh, might be surprising. It's a fucking rom-com. Is it from 103 years ago? It is not from 103 years ago. <laughs> it's from a long, long time ago. Dead. And right. as far as I know, no one died filming this movie. Oh, as far as I know. As far as you know. As far as I know. So this movie was made in 1999. And uh, oh, the only reason why I've seen this movie is because she made me watch it. But uh, I enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie to you. I do enjoy it. It's called Blast from the Past. All right? Stars Alicia Silverstone, Brendan Fraser, Christopher Walken, my man, and Sissy Spacek. Sissy Spacek. Yep. <clears throat> so the plot of the movie is uh, Christopher Walken is a scientist and he's a genius. He works uh, for Caltech. And uh, so, and it, uh, also it takes place during like the Cuban Missile Crisis, uh, and he's super paranoid about uh, nuclear war. So he builds a, uh, you know, a bunker under his house and he uses his genius brain to come up with ways of like making batteries extend their life to last for 30 years and stuff like that and he he thinks of ways to have like fish farms or always have food all, all kind of he, he this thing is no joke i mean he built it to like replicate their house and i mean it's this big big deal and uh so he's actually uh his wife's pregnant since his space is pregnant and they go down into the um bunker like you know to put some things down there and then there's a uh a plane that just happens to crash in their yard while they're down there. So he assumes that it's a nuclear blast wow. and he locks them in. He, he, he closes it. So, he, so uh, in order, as a safety feature, he put uh, safety locks on the door. They would not open for 30 years or 32 years, whatever it was. Wow. So they're locked in for 30 years uh, for a misunderstanding. So, of course, she has the baby, which is Brendan Fraser. So he grows up in the bunker only knowing his parents and not experiencing actual life. So it's about uh, 30 years have passed, and, you know, the door is open, and now they can go up. But they're afraid. They're still afraid to go up because they're afraid of, you know, what kind of life they'll be on the planet after it's all the radiation. Yeah, like they're that. afraid of mutants. So they, so they send their son up to check things out, you know, to, like, go to a store and try to buy supplies. They're not sure if they want to come out of the bunker. So he comes out, and, of course, it's the, it's the regular world, which he's, is totally unaware of. He doesn't realize it's the regular world. So it's just about the crazy interactions of him with regular people and him misunderstanding how things are. And then he runs into Alicia Silverstone, and uh, they fall in love, and it's a whole thing. But it's it's hilarious. I yeah. swear to God, the movie is hilarious. Yeah, it's pretty it's a pretty genius idea. I okay. enjoy it a lot. Cool. So that's good stuff. Yep. But he's gonna hate it. Yeah, you probably will. I'm gonna but, find out. But, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a rom com. It is a rom com. I'll let but, you know. Uh, yeah. One of the few watchable ones. I don't uh, have a choice. No, no. Well, why not? I'm not going to ask you to watch that. Are you sure? Cause yeah, I'm so sure. She's not a rom com girl. Rom-coms. She's not a rom com oh, girl. No. no, it's funny. Today I told her to watch an uplifting movie with a positive vibe. Oh. 
And she didn't want to. You know what she watches? No. Nope. Murder Death movie. Yeah. That, that, that gives her good feelings. Put the last onion knives out. Yeah. That gives her good feelings. You in the mood for poo poo. I get you. And yeah. murder and death is Have her you, favorite. Ooh, Haunting in Venice that just came out. Okay, see, good. I did watch that kind of movie, which is what I wanted to watch because he wanted me to watch more of a positive movie. And The Glass Onion is listed as a comedy. I didn't think I it was a comedy. I would not call it's it a comedy. It's listed as a comedy. Right. But Edward Norton is kind of funny in that movie. So basically okay. what she's telling you is that she refuses to listen to her husband's advice right. and still continues to watch murder movies where everybody's dying and getting put in a hole. <laughs> what did you... Everybody um, did not die. Everybody did not die. Unfortunately. Did one person die? Of course. Okay, murder. Did you... <laughs> what movie did you tell ask her to watch? Or tell her to watch? Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Oh, now right? let me give you the list of movies oh, yeah. he told me to watch, because this is just hilarious. Yeah. Positive, uplifting, feel-good movies. I didn't think this is, that this part was, was uplifting. It was kind of sad. Really? He wanted me to, to watch Moonstruck, <gasps> Coming to America, The right. Devil Wears Prada, The Birdcage, Bring It On, <laughs> To All Cheerleader the Boys oh, I've I Loved know. Before, School of Rock. Yes. All right. All right. Love, right. Love Actually, yes. Elf, which sucks my ass. Oh my God. I love that Greatest. movie. It's on the list this Ever. year. The, the Help, list. The Parent Trap, which I cannot even believe the he said The Parent the Trap. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the remake I would never watch. The Princess Bride, which I've seen a hundred times. <gasps> which and Mrs. So Doubtfire. You're saying you watched it a hundred times, like that makes a difference. Right, like that, that makes it bad. That movie's funny no matter Moon, how many times you watch it. Right? Yes, it was yes. one of my favorite movies I ever. wanted to watch a movie I had never seen before, so I didn't want to watch a movie I've already seen. Half of these movies I've already seen. Okay. You should, added, you should have added Witches of Eastwick to that list. Positive vibes, uplifting vibes. It doesn't have to be something you haven't seen. It has to be something that lifts you up and right. makes you feel right, right, right. I enjoyed this movie. Why can't you just accept that I enjoyed this movie? Well, I didn't pick the kind of movie I wanted to watch. Good for you. It was, you it was okay. It was pretty good. I, I picked a comedy. I picked something that was listed as a whoa, comedy, whoa, whoa, which was whoa, listening whoa, whoa. to you. I wanted to watch horror. Okay, right. all right. Which is I didn't. why you're always negative and foul. Maybe I'm negative and foul now because you wouldn't let me watch horror. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, I think we're going to go ahead and end this. Uh, <laughs> but uh, hopefully uh, we can get Bodie to, next week to uh, tell us about the time he went undercover to infiltrate a lumber mill that was a front for a crack dealing operation run by a lesbian couple. The mission was codenamed Operation <laughs> Paper Rock Scissors. <laughs> He couldn't even get it out. I couldn't do it. God damn it. That was so do. terrible. That was terrible. You are a horrible, 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 horrible comedy. I'm horrible comedy. You can't comedy. even stay straight so. to your own joke. Were they rock, paper, scissors? No, they wouldn't. What was it named? Paper, paper rock, scissors. scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He did this at home. <laughs> I know, but you can be rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Rock Too bad we don't have video because he wouldn't be going oh, like this at all. And he couldn't even keep it. Like, I can't keep it. Listening, they have no idea what he even said nope. because it was just like. Not, not. I, I know. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to amuse myself. I yes. think we've already discussed. All you gotta do. You gotta laugh. We're good with yep. it. All you gotta do is film a little clip for Facebook and put it on there. There you go. Do it. That's true. We could just take your phone yep. right now, and you could do your hands like this, and we could then put it on the Facebook for the people to see. Right. <sighs> oh my God. So funny. So great. I wish people would be able to see what he just. Y'all keep saying that, but we keep not getting video equipment. So yeah, we keep we keep not being able to afford it. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. Well, Christmas list. Right. Christmas, Christmas list. Christmas list. There it is. I oh. have a. I, oh, I have a suggestion for <laughs> a uh, poll. For this particular episode. Ooh, what is it? What? It's not even really a poll. It's a question. Okay. Well, a poll is a question. <laughs> yeah, but this poll is a question with multiple answers. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. What is the original name of the rock band, the legendary rock band, Kiss? Okay, that would be trivia question. Trivia. Yeah, that is a trivia question. Right. That's good. I yeah. like it. What was their original name, the band name, before it was Kiss? Yep. Ooh, let's see who gets it first. Okay, listeners, you have Libby. your homework. <laughs> we all know Libby's gonna get it first. Love it. Well, what happens if they? What happens if they get it? Do they guess it. They'll get a shout out on our, uh, on our podcast. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll shout you out next episode. And then we'll blow them a kiss. Mwah. 
Uh, mouge, mouge, mouge. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's time for us to call it, guys. This is uh, Big Dog, Big Dog. BD out. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>